Okay, so back to my Welcome to back the to Dark Souls. Souls. <laughs> I'm just gonna climb these stairs. Oh, the landscape is so beautiful. Just going over the stuff of what I got last time, so if we're not totally lost, if you didn't catch the previous video, it's all right. If you did miss it, go back and watch it right now. <laughs> right question: How do you get that soul all the way to your right? I get it. I'll show you. Okay. See, I do like 18 damage, and it's like, oh, come on. This guy is by far the weakest character to pick, starting out, I feel like. Because the cleric actually gets a mace that does good damage. Well, you have that mace. No, that no, that's actually a mace. I have the morning mace. in his horn. Well, the morning star is what they start with. Oh, no, they don't start with the morning star. They start with a mace, and it's better than the morning star. This guy, somebody commented, like, Having a lot of problems fighting these guys when they when the like Dark Souls first came out. So PC gamers are relatively new to it. If you don't know, wait till that guy attacks you. And when he, he hits your shield, then uh, go for it. See, sprint jump. I do hold B or whatever run is. Cause this game is horribly ported to the uh, PC. By the way, they did not change the controls around, so it's horrible. Oh well. Yeah, so you pretty much need a controller. And that's how you get your first ring of sacrifice. I think you can get like seven in this game. In one playthrough. There's rarely a situation where you're ever gonna really want to consider using it. Um, there is one. I said rarely, <laughs> not there isn't. Okay. Jeez, man. Check this out. You this amazing jump. It's so sexy. I rolled! <laughs> <laughs> and derp. <laughs> right. And then, when I die, I typically skip to the part where I back to alive, or fast forward through it. Throughout this whole video. All my videos, really. And then I just stop fast forwarding once I got right back to where Whoa, I was. Whoa, what health? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That happens a couple times. This guy, you just want to run at and just all attack him. Because, you know, fall off the edge. <laughs> Yeah, this axe always used to get me, because I'd always miss him. Oh. He does a lot of damage. Yeah, the axe? Anybody who has an axe does a lot of damage. Yeah. True. I think its base damage is like 98. No way. Yeah, 98 or 93. It's one of them. One of the 90s. Yeah, it's in the 90s, that's for sure. And here's these uh, giant rats. They drop uh, a lot of humanity, so if you're trying to farm humanity, to either sell them to Framps. Is that his yes. name? Framps. Yeah, uh, you can sell him for quite a bit. Well, he you technically you feed them to him, but yeah, that's another that, story. That's that's technical hibber jabber. And these guys typically, if you come up slowly, they'll jump attack you in like lunge attack. You know, typically get you. See, I'm not getting any backstabs, and it was upsetting me. Yeah, I'm pissed poor at it. So I'm, I don't feel bad. I get them when I don't try to. That's not how everything works in life. Like, yeah. right up here, like, look at this, ready? I just run, try to avoid his fire, and he just turned for me. There we go. <laughs> oh, one sec, I think he wanted to be right here. <laughs> Locking on typically is very helpful in this game. That it is. Matt never used to lock on when he would play it. I sucked at it. I could never hit anything I wanted to. There is another way to get on that. Yeah, but that other way involves you fighting like six other people and uh, getting uh, rushed at, and it's just not cool. Yeah, true. It may take you a minute, but you'll. I got this. There you go. Whee! I don't even remember what you get here. No, humanity. So I guess it is worth it. Because you humanity become human to kindle a bonfire. This guy was smart and climbed up the, up the ladder. Well, you actually you actually can proc him when you walk on the side path. It doesn't matter where you are. He eventually climbs up there anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. If you're standing long enough, he shows up. 
Oh, I'm. I don't have enough strength to wear to uh, wield the spider shield. <laughs> <laughs> One sec, gotta curl this. Yeah. Man, that's how you build your strength. <sighs> if only. If only it was that easy. If only you just <laughs> curl weapons. And <laughs> Wait, Matt was talking about is you can fall down to the left or right up. I guess that is the only way. So yeah, fall down to the left, right there. I thought there was another way, but I guess no. Not. That's the other one. There's another one, I believe. Because I didn't fall down oh. left when I got down there. I took like a long oh, way. Oh, destroy the boxes, probably. <coughs> Don't quote us. Test it yourself. And there was a, a soul there that I never really noticed in any of my playthroughs till today. Well, well, the one across the. Or you? Oh, the one down below. Right behind the stairs. Like, yeah. No, yeah. Like first time I read it, I was like, "Oh, I don't take an arrow to the knee here, but I take an arrow." <laughs> Man. Man, first time I played this, I took an arrow to the face. Group fighting people in groups is not typically recommended because you run out of stamina and then you can't block, and then some guy d goes out. Hey, man, like he was. <laughs> yeah. Right oh, in the oh. eyeball. <laughs> You're a unicorn! <laughs> I'm Charlie. Charlie. You have to go to the vampire, Charlie. Oh you, oh, you broke your horn. What's wrong with you? No longer a mystical unicorn. Yeah, there's also a shop here that I didn't notice on my very first time playing through this game. Um... This guy's very useful. Very useful. So do not kill him. Just, it's not worth killing him. What, the shop guy? Yes. You can kill him later. Yeah, later, when you're, you're not playing through this area, or you have to not run through him by arrows, or something like that. But don't kill him in the beginning, please don't. I strongly frown upon that. <laughs> She must be a lesbian. I just get I just have this one feeling that someone's gonna not listen to you and kill him. Yo, plenty of people are gonna do that. Yeah, no, because the, the Uchi Katana well, is still now, a very interesting You list. seem to have your wits about you. Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> I don't trust this guy. He sounds creepy. Yeah, exactly. It sounds like purchase item. I think. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh I buy one thing, and it's the bottomless box. That's helpful, so you don't have to have a thousand items on you. Oh, yeah. So if you're doing uh, PvP, easy switch between items. And then I didn't, I'm not, I was like, I'm not gonna buy the residence key. I have another idea for that. Thank you kindly. Now don't do what I did. <laughs> I tried to kick him, just just so everybody knows this. I tried to kick him from behind. Okay. I tried to kick. Oh, I, oh, I did kick him. And I tried to backstab him. Ew! Didn't get the backstab. You've gone mad, have you? I'll teach you, you lousy rat. Yulia. Why me? See how every time he got his uh, posture back up, Yulia. I would kick him again. It made it so he could actually not get in a position to fight me. At least it still gives you the soaps too. <clears throat> yep. It gives you the residence key. Um, I am basing my build off this weapon. So I'm, I'm doing a dex build with bleed damage. I'm not going to do PvP, because that's typically what bleed damage is for. But it does give you a bonus when you hit them three times in a row. I'm not sure if you're aware of this. I think it depends on the weapon, I don't think it's always three. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought it was always three. Because there's a base of bleed damage, and your objective is to fill that bar. Oh, okay. I think that bar is based off your stamina. Don't quote me on that, though. The wooden shield better than the target shield. Is that a target shield? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's, like, what, 95% physical? So much better. Dude, that heater shield, though. That, that heater shield... Ridiculous.
Thanks for watching our videos. If you like what we do and you want to see more, click that yellow button. And if you haven't seen our previous episodes, click the bottom left button. Now, if you really want to see what we did next, click the button to the right. See you bros later.